when I started teaching, there was some magic there. From Switzerland and Belgium to Disney World, former physics teacher Glenn Govertson performs a science show for audiences of all ages. It's not a typical science demo, however. When I became a physics teacher, which I think was my second year here, um, it was always about trying to help people understand something, and the best way to understand something is, is, is to see it. All of a sudden, they're, they're learning something, and they're excited about learning, because there's something about that. Govertston wants the kids watching his show to learn from the demos and spark an interest in learning. Upon Govertston's retirement, he designed and created physics demonstrations that would capture the attention of all ages. His hope is that these engaging experiments will make students curious to learn more. He calls it the Mr. G Science Show. Sometimes they come in grumbling. No, uh, the science assembly. But remember, I start with a laser and techno music, and then they realize that this is not just somebody that's going to lecture at them, but something's happening, and they're going to be part of it. By using simple everyday items, Govertston creates fantastical displays and other physics demonstrations, exploring the science of sound, light, and motion. Govertston says he uses these familiar objects to help the kids relate and make the concepts easy to understand. I think it's, it's very important that I'm using ordinary everyday objects. So I'm doing physics, which is a scary word for a lot of people. But if all of the science you read about is something that somebody else has done and it's very high level, you never really sense that science is involved with everything. If I could get them interested and motivated, they're going to learn a whole lot more science. Govertson says his goal is not to create scientists or get anybody into physics. His goal is to show that learning is fun and science can be exciting. The rewarding part is seeing them at the time where a little light bulb goes off, that you recognize that they're in connection with what's happening, and, and they learn something. For PBS Student Reporting Labs, I'm Nicole Schmidt.